the category spans quite a broad spectrum of ideas potentially and I, I think I personally and a lot of my uh, fellow jurors were maybe hoping that there'd be some work sort of spanning um, artificial intelligence and life arts and potentially uh, pushing the boundaries of what we might consider how we define life and how we define intelligence and how we might see some systems that are utilizing both uh, natural biological components but also so-called artificial or silicon based components um, so this was a, an expectation i had that i was hoping to see um, works that spans this there wasn't a lot of works that did do that um, actually it generally fell into these clear categories of bio art or um, ai as a as a tool and also AI as a technology with all the politics that surrounds it. So, so, so there were these clear distinct trends. For me it was a, a surprise to see how many uh, bio art is and how many things you can create with bacteria. Actually for me it's also been a learning process. Um, and also with the, with the, to be a jury here I guess I I didn't expect it would be so intense, and I, and it's been really interesting to to dig in every artist's journey and and how they deal and how they use the new techniques to create art. So I guess I didn't expect it would be so intense. We didn't want it to 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 separate art into different categories, and I think that was something common between all the members of the uh, jury not to think on that way for us the main uh, goal was to try to find uh, the the something that have really quality and we were not thinking in which category is that so the work that that it's awarded as, as with the golden nika is from our point of view does go somewhere that that was not expected in a way so in, in this case this is the the the, the uh, one of the aspects of this work it's that, that that it's speaking about some kind of new some kind of new definitions of labor and pushing us to think into some dimensions that maybe were not so expected uh, before and again I we, we didn't consider is it like AI art or, 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 or like bio art for us it was important that it's a good art. I guess we because we wanted to look beyond at the um, uh, in individually like at the, to define like the category in different areas for example to look at artificial intelligence or life art so we were kind of uh, as other people mentioned before like we were hoping that there will be more work that kind of create like a yeah merge or like you just create a discourse that uh, kind of goes beyond like the um, the usual way that people think about this um, so 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 in a way I think our kind of uh, selection for the uh, for the golden Nika is um, is probably I, f I feel like this way in a way that uh, it's it's one of the very few works that um, goes like somewhere in between like or beyond like these categories of what is you know artificial intelligence or what is life art or like it's not defined by one of these but it's more it's, it's going a bit more in a more complex way it's kind of you know um, looking at like responding to to this category I guess when arriving I think I wasn't the only one who was fearing or suspecting that we would end up with a kind of dialectical split on the one side those who were favoring let's say software and hardware based artworks of the animation of the technological and on the other side those who favor wet work by wet biology artworks favoring let's say uh, biological processes and we are asking these questions about what aliveness might be what artificiality is if artificiality is just when a human being touches something and constructs something or whether also other than human beings have innate technical capacities to be intelligent so i think what comes out of this selection process is that we are in an area where these 
to the electric opponent uh, tendencies actually are overcome. So I think a trend that we can really see is that well, there is a kind of situation where the distinction between wetware, hardware and software is overcome. This also stretches the scale upon which these artworks are happening in, and it's also pointing to strategies of multimodality. So we see a lot of artworks that are not only on movement, based on movement, on sight, uh, on audio, but a lot of artworks that also encompass other senses, other modalities such as taste and smell. And this, I think, is a consequence of precisely uh, corresponding to trends such as synthetic biology, artificial intelligence, but seen in a very critical angle and not in an affirmative or technophile aspect of highlighting these kind of new capacities.